What's up guys? Atmos Cube here. <laughs> a bit of a weird start. It's episode 5 and we are in the Champions League. I'm a bit hyped, as you can tell. I should be like this every commentary. It's, it's a lot more fun for me and for you, probably. Anyway, match analysis. Uh, I didn't even go through the team. And I'm doing... I'm like doing half... Uh, that was like half my voice, half, half Arsene Wenger... Half Arsene Wenger impression. Okay, Hernandez and Ibrahimovic up front. Hernandez playing because of a good end to the last game. Sanchez and Robinho on the left. Going to give him a chance. Hazard in behind the front too because Pastoria has not been uh, alert this season. And Villa, who is hopefully going to continue his impressive form. And as I said, Phil Jones in the centre-back partnership with Silva today. Taiwo... Get, trusting him at left back and Van de Veel at right back, who I have no concerns about. Unlike Chesney in goal, who hopefully can play well, because apparently he's got quite a bit of potential on this. So let's get on with the game. I believe it uh, has been a very fast start, and uh... yeah, that was that was my Arsene Wenger impression, but not that wasn't full on. If I did it full on, it's it's very convincing. I do say so myself. And here we go. And then Via missed out on the challenge. Oh, for fuck's sake, they hit the bar. Fucking hell. Was the closing down, my man? Where is the closing down? Uh, Close this fucker down. And this fucker down. Just close them all down. And him. Okay, let's go. And frap stop recording because it's a bell end now. Let's get on with this shiz. Goal 1 0. And I'm glad I pressed record just as that happened because Ibrahimovic got a good goal. Uh, you didn't miss much, it was just a failed throw in uh, clearance. Rubinia spread it out wide to Sanchez and Ibrahimovic scored. Here we go. The highlight. Uh, Ibrahimovic did really well there and finished with a good goal. Doo doo. <coughs> I don't know how much you missed, uh, of course. I was a bit oblivious to how much uh, of the gameplay you missed, but I don't think it was that much. And Hernandez with two. And this has been a very good start to the Champions League campaign. Oh, Just my seating position. Position, if you will. <sighs> Van de Veel. Good throw in there. <laughs> Deflected cross. Uh, Sanchez is not very good at crossing, really. Uh <laughs> And uh, I need to talk about a few things. What was I talking about? Yeah, uh, I was looking. I've been looking for a striker uh, to buy at the end of the season. Uh, been looking at a few positions actually for a few players, uh, which I might need. Uh, looking at the squad at the moment and just thinking who I will be willing to let go, who I think might be going, and who, as a player, might decline, and therefore I might need a player. Uh, there's been a few players that I've been thinking of, you know, removing and stuff, but I think hopefully the selling will, you know, compensate for the buying, and uh, I think, <clears throat> I don't know if that sentence made any sense whatsoever, but um, basically what I meant was, uh, hopefully if I do decide to sell, uh, it will fund for the buying, and uh, I'm not going to go crazy, like uh, I have for the last two seasons, uh, I think in the last few seasons, I think the improvements that I've re like the major improvements I wanted to make have been made, and I think it's just a matter of uh, tweaking it now. You know, uh, applying to different situations. You know, retirement, uh, decline as a footballer, old age. You know that sort of thing. Uh, interested from other clubs, <coughs> and uh, you got to be prepared to let some of your key players go if the right club comes in for the right money, or or they've hit the woodwork again. <laughs> and they can't get the ball at the back of the net. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you got to let players go and uh, key players, uh, maybe let players go due to form or work rate in Rubinho's case, which is kind of pissing me off. Um, yeah, just encourage, really. Um, been a good first so far, quite quiet after the second goal. They've hit the woodwork twice with that long ranger, and uh, that's been pretty much it. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, so Nesta's obviously 35 and, and look, probably going to retire soon uh, I don't know but um, oh here we go we might have another goal here and ri <laughs> a ridiculous angle didn't even slide in Ibrahim uh, Hernandez there Ibrahimovic um, what was I going to say oh Chesney well he stopped it from going in I'll give him that much 
and he's held that well. He's not been awful, but he he could be a lot worse, I guess. So let's be grateful for that. Or oh, what distribution? Distribution. I don't know. Every time I do a commentary, I sound like a retard anyway. So, uh, what else? Enthusiasm. Let's do this shit. Um, that guy Lamone, a or whatever the fuck he's called. Every time I just see his name, he just I don't know. Fabian, Le I don't know. Oh, feck off. Stupid shitheads. Oh, that's the worst. That was the worst thing I could have seen. Ah, play on. We got Pastore coming on. <laughs> it's not like it's getting any easier. Um, and what was I going to say? Yeah, Nesta, 35. Uh, don't know if he's going to retire soon. Probably will. Uh, also, probably declining as a footballer as well. Um, so, you know, S uh, Socrates, I think, will probably come in for him. Uh, Jones also will be another centre-back, along with... Well, Jones, Silva, Socrates and... Saka will probably be my centre backs. Uh, oh, and Rubinho can't score. Uh, yeah, so they'll probably be my centre back. So I'll, I'll most definitely be looking for a right back and a left back actually because Ty was only on loan, and I don't think he's good enough defensively. Because uh, I didn't have any money, so I just thought I thought we'll get some loan deals in um, for for the left back and. Um, Unlucky there from Pastore. He look, he's looking like his old self, actually. He's sliding balls in, he's dribbling, but he just can't find the net. I think if he if he found the net, it'd be a lot different. Oh! It looked like the Silver had scored there. Well, this this uh, this gameplay has been quite good, actually, because the frame rate's just stuck at 30. Oh, that's brilliant. Slide him in. Oh, that's good, that's good. <laughs> look how far the goalkeeper's come out. I would have lobbed him. Oh, Rubinho's at the post! And he just hit it from a ridiculous angle. That's unlucky. Oh, God. Yeah. So uh, they're gonna, yeah. So uh, right back and left back are a hundred percent priority. And then um, I will. Well, I won't. Most, I'll probably be looking for a striker. The one I've got my eye on at the moment is uh, Lissandro Lopez, but he's getting old. Uh, I'm also foreseeing the um, Ibrahimovic getting old because he's about thirty now, isn't he? Uh, so I was looking at Frederico Makeda, who Man United are still set, uh, putting out on loan, but he's a fantastic finisher on this. But the thing about that is I don't want another twenty, like another under twenty striker. So you know, then I'd have Makeda, Pato, Hernandez in. Oh, lucky! It's a good challenge from the defender. So then I'd have you know Pato, Hernandez, Lukaku. Uh, and Makeda, but I I'm happy with Pato Ibrahimovic, uh, Hernandez, and Lukaku at the moment, so we'll keep with that. Um, at the end of this, we'll check uh, of Hazard's injury. There's been a lot of highlights in this. Second half's been quite long. I'm surprised, actually. <clears throat> yeah, so those are just some of the plans for the future. I mean, I'm always looking uh, and seeing what, what needs to be covered up, and I've got replacements lined up for for players i mean well i know we're well, not necessarily replacements but i know what i kind of have to do Oof. i swear we should have had a third by now it's been ridiculous look at that 13 shots six on target we should have had one more goal we need to end this three nil otherwise it would be kind of disgraceful but we have destroyed them sancho should have been a better ball in there from Sanchez. And Robinho. Fucking hell. I don't, I don't even know what it is. Even from just... From the moment I started this save, Robinho has just been pissing me right the fuck off. I named him Fuckface because he couldn't score, and now he's just a retard. He actually can't... He... Oh, I don't know. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not even going to look. Oh, wow, what the... I lied, I did look. <laughs> oh, wow, what happened there? Was that Taiwo? Was that Taiwo? Oh, what a defensive challenge that was. I'm looking at that again, and Mvu has had quite a quiet game. Can tell me one of... Oh, that's... Oh, my God, Hernandez! I mean, Pastore got in the way. I don't know, who got in the way of who? Ugh. Oh. 
I don't know who picked up man of the match. Ibrahimovic, no. Alexis Sanchez picks up man of the match, and he has done quite well. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, it was a sensation. We destroyed him from start to finish, and uh, well, not from start to finish. From yeah, pretty much from start to finish. Let's leave it at that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, two 0 and uh, I'm gonna be right back <laughs> and show you the highlight of that. A last ditch tackle from Taiwo. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. And Eden has his only out for two to three weeks, which is a good news. Um, Sanchez again getting man of the match. Their manager taking the piss. So that can be the end of this episode. I didn't show you the Taiwo thing again because you've seen it and I can watch it again on the uh, replay of this. Anyway, see me for episode six uh, and the game against Regina. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I, uh, people have a go at me for not being able to pronounce these names. I try my best, people. I try my best. So anyway, see you for that episode.